Hi Puddins, my name is Sade Page, also known as What Page Is It? And today I'm going to go over books that I have read for the month of January. I have both comic books, volumes, and I have some regular books that aren't comic related, but wanted to share what I've been up to this month. So first we're going to start off with Cara Zor-El, Superwoman, Future State. I don't know what's happening with Future State, to be honest, quite yet. I picked this up, it wasn't bad. But there's only two issues that are going along with some of these storylines, so I don't really know how it's going to go. I don't know if I'm going to pick up the second one or not. We'll see. I also have another issue for Future State that I'll go over next. But So far with this, it was pretty good. I didn't mind it. Um, it's There's like a new character involved. It kind of gives me um, the land before, not the land before time, um, the never ending story vibes with this new character that pops in there. So that's what it kind of reminds me of. But I don't know, this is one of the future states that I picked up this month. Let's put this here. Next, I have Homesick Pilots uh, 1 and 2. Uh, this is actually a new story from Image Comics. I made a review on the first one, so you can check that out. And then the second one wasn't too bad either. I it's based off of a haunted house that's happening in Santa Monica, California, where this girl has to, I guess, it seems that she has to gather these missing pieces of the house that are haunted. And it's also very murdery, so we'll see where the story goes. But I'm definitely intrigued to where I want to keep picking these issues up, so I'll probably get the next one too, when it comes out. Next from Future State, I picked up Harley Quinn. I don't think I'm gonna pick up the second one to this. I don't know if there's two or three, I forgot honestly, but I don't know. It kind of just seems like she's, I don't know, she's captured, she's questioned just to be used for her psychology knowledge, which if you don't remember, which you should remember, Harley Quinn used to be a psychology type doctor, which is how she met the Joker. So I think for this, I might pass on getting because I don't really know what they're doing with it and she's just locked up getting asked questions to collect some other villains. I don't know. I wasn't drawn to go spend my money again. Now I have crossover number three that I read this month. I am obsessed with crossover you guys. It's from Image Comics by Donnie Cates. The artwork is freaking phenomenal. I can't get over it enough. I have a couple reviews on this. Um, so be sure to check those out. You can find it on my Instagram and you can find it here on YouTube as well. Oh, another thing that I really liked about it is that each issue um, where she's sitting and reading, apparently each uh, issue had a different cover within the, the what she's holding cover. So that was fun to figure out. I was kind of making fun of somebody because uh, in my brain, not to them actually, because I was like, why are you sitting there picking through multiples of them? Just grab one and go. He's like, nay, nay, it's actually different. And I was like, I see you, sir. I see you. Next, not comic related, I am actually picked up again Coraline. I was reading this around October and then I stopped and I decided to pick it back up and continue reading it because I really want to finish it. I like the movie, but I want to finish the actual book itself. Another book that I got in recently from a publishing company is Unchosen. It is by Catherine Blair and it's basically a zombie book. So with this though is that it's not supposed to be your typical zombie is what I'm gathering, but you get contracted by making eye contact, which actually if you're in New York City you're technically fine because nobody looks at each other in the eyeballs. So we'd be good. <laughs> But I just started this, like literally I'm only on page like 46. I just got the chapter 4. But I'm going to continue reading this too in February to finish it up and see how it goes. I like to have my refreshers between comic books and regular books because, you know, I like to cleanse the palette with things, you know, gotta cleanse it. Next I have Daphne Brine. I did read this, but I had, I realized a couple chapters left to read of it, like the last two, so finished it up. Really good, very spooky and creepy. And if you love those type of books, please pick it up. It's from the, you know, Joe Hill House comics. Like you gotta definitely get up. Rude texting me. So it's from Joe, How Joe Hill House Comics. So you definitely gotta pick it up and check it out. I highly recommend it if you are a fan of spooky comics. Another volume I got is Vampironica New Blood. I love this from the Archie series. Vampironica I think is my favorite version of her. 
she's obviously a vampire. With this, it's after the Jughead the Hunger versus Vampironica is what the previous issue was. So it picks back up off of here and gets more detail into the vampire storyline of how she became one and werewolves and whatnot. So definitely recommend this, it's really good. I'm also picking up from what I started at the beginning of quarantine is I started to read Spider Gwen and I actually stopped grabbing the issues kind of after things picked back up and I could get new comics as well is I got number two which is the weapon of Spider Gwen weapon of choice uh, oh Marvel 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 marveling it up today <laughs> But, um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying the Spider Gwen series. This one, though, I feel like she was complaining, like, poor me, poor me, I'm Spider Gwen, poor me. Like, so it was a little bit annoying. But I mean, overall, I think maybe it's just like a developmental stage where she's like complaining about her life, and then maybe in the next book she'll be a little bit better. But I mean, it, I mean, it was a good story apart from her complaining, and I liked how there was like, I got into the holiday, holiday, Halloween season time setting they had near the end of the book, so. That tickled my fancy. A YA book I got from DC for their new YA section they have, which I'm a sucker for YA, don't, don't hate. So I got the Victor and Nora. This is so cute. <laughs> I don't know if guys, I mean guys look, get over it. You should totally check these out. I, I love it. It's, you know, it's freaking Mr. Freeze and his love for Nora and where they're set in high school when they first meet and all this stuff. And it's so sappy and it's just, I think it's a perfect Valentine's Day book. I should make a Valentine's Day book list because this is really good. Super cute, super lovey-dovey, and like you can just feel like, I mean it got very corny. I will not lie, it got very corny. But I mean, I loved it. I was just, I was like in bed reading it going, oh, and Brian's like, you gonna make it? You gonna make it? And I did. Next, I have Jenica. She is the new Ninja Turtle, the female one. Um, I wanted to, I saw the single issues popping up a lot when I was at the store, and I wanted to wait till the trade comes out, which here we are, and I actually liked it. She kind of did give me Gwen Stacy vibes of her complaining about her life a little bit. I mean, granted, she was a human that got turned into a turtle, but uh, I don't know, but she still seems to be a BA, badass, so I'm not mad about that. And I definitely want to get the second book trade. I'm trying not to pick up too many single issues, unless they're like poppin' stories. The last book that I read was Alienated from Boom Studios. I really like this comic. It was set in high school with three kids named Sam, where they discover an alien, and things just turn for the worst for all three of them. But I really enjoyed the story. It comes out really good in the end, so I definitely recommend this, and a review should be up of this for you guys. And that's it. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my books that I read in January, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye! Woo!